Hey guys, and welcome back. It's Grant Brogy from The Strength Co. And today I want to talk about protein, protein, protein. Not sure why I'm flexing. I think it's because I said the word protein. But if you like the video, please like and subscribe to the channel. If you go to the gym, whether you're a CrossFitter, strongman, powerlifter, general strength trainee, heck, even someone that's just doing spin or Pilates, most people know that are trying to improve their health, they need to eat more protein. And that is good. But the question always comes down to how much protein should I eat? And there's a little bit of, I don't know, something that you need to think about when it comes to how much protein should I eat? In our last video, we talked about the importance of doing a food log and understanding what you're currently eating in order to make adjustments. But to be honest, if you came into my gym today for the first time and I taught you how to lift weights, on your way out, I would give you a protein recommendation. And that's because protein is very important for muscle building and strength development. So you need to eat protein. For most guys on their way out, I would say this. Wait, I would also say this for most girls. First, build the habit of coming to the gym three times a week. Be consistent. And then let's talk about your nutrition. But I would tell them as they left, hey, look, if you're a female, go for 75 to 100 grams of protein. Just get that. And if you're a dude, go for a gram per pound of body weight. You might ask yourself, Grant, why is it different from females and males? Well, one, women tend to weigh less than males, but two, most females do not eat enough protein. They just don't. Uh, I don't know why it is, Western society, wherever we are, but they don't eat enough protein. So giving them a target number to hit will help them start to build muscle. And most women are in the gym either to make their butt harder or you know, lean out, tone out, whatever the words they wanna use these days. And whether they're trying to also lose weight or maybe gain weight, which I've never had a woman tell me they wanted to gain weight, but sometimes they do and they're really happy. I find that just giving them a target is very helpful. For dudes, I tell them one gram per pound of body weight because it kind of works both ends of the spectrum. If the guy needs to gain weight, it probably puts him on a surplus. If the guy needs to lose weight, hopefully he eats more protein and less of the other crap. But I don't tell that for everybody because what if you're 5'8", 300 pounds? You don't want 300 grams of protein in your diet because you're probably going to get a bunch of fats and other stuff with it. And that's what the point of this video is thinking about where your protein comes from. So everyone agrees that we need it, but the question is where and how do we get it? And that's why the food log that we talked about in the last video is so important, because if I know what you're currently eating, we can actually make these adjustments. But you haven't bought a nutrition council for us, you're just here on the YouTube channel because you like me and you want some free information. So I'm gonna try and make this as broad stroke as possible so that you have something that's actionable. So. Think about your protein. If you're an underweight male and you're trying to gain weight or you, you, know, you just need to put on size and mass and all those sorts of things, then you can go after the milk, you can go after the peanut butter, you can go after these high caloric protein sources in order to put on mass. However, if you're an overweight male and you're trying to lose weight, you need to think about this differently. Can I eat ribeyes, peanut butter, and milk all day and say, Grant told me to get one gram of protein per pound of body weight, I did it. Well, the answer is probably no, because your fat content went through the roof and so did your calories, and now you're not losing weight, which was your goal. I don't actually like for most people, the general public, to track and weigh and measure all their food long-term but I do think it's super helpful when you're first getting started because you learn to associate what these foods bring to you calorically. And if we did some type of food log, you know, food journal for some amount of time, you know, hey, if I eat a ribeye and a half a jar of peanut butter, I got this protein, but I also got all these other calories. And that becomes very useful for your training journey. So I'm gonna keep this one short. And to the point, if you are trying to get stronger and build muscle, which whether or not you are overweight, underweight, male or female, we want to build muscle. Because if we build muscle, that doesn't mean you're going to get bulky, woman. But if you're going to build muscle, you're going to burn fat, your metabolism is going to increase, all that stuff. Then you need to think about how much protein you're intaking. So I would think of your protein like this. You probably need to be in somewhere between 0.8 grams to 1.2 to maybe 1.4 grams of protein per pound of body weight based on your goals, if you're losing weight or gaining weight. If you're trying to lose weight, lose body fat, 
then you need to focus on really lean proteins. And that's hard, but it's very doable. And we're gonna do a video on cutting and how you can cut. If you're trying to gain weight in muscular size and growth, you might be on the north side of one and that will be okay and you're allowed to go after the other things. Again, having someone walk you through this is helpful, but you can totally do it on your own. So in summary, you need protein. We all do. If you wanna get stronger and you wanna put on muscle mass, you have to eat protein. But just be careful and make sure you pay attention to your goals. If you're trying to lose weight or gain weight, just a hard line of, hey, this rule per pound of whatever may not work. You might need to eat cleaner. You might need to eat more chicken. You might need to eat more fish. And you might not be able to eat as many ribeyes and peanut butters and that sort of things. Think about what your protein comes with in line with your goals. Hope this video helps. If you like it, please like and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time.